In today's lesson, we're going to look at ratios and proportions. Let's turn to page 45 in your notebook. This is building upon the ratios and proportions from the seventh grade curriculum. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division. So we're comparing x to y, or x out of y. And a proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. So in this example, 2 fifths is a ratio, 4 tenths is a ratio. And when we state that these two ratios are equal, the whole thing is a proportion. So in this first section of notes, we're going to learn about how to tell if the ratios are equivalent, if they are equal. So in this example, I have two ratios. I want to know, are these two ratios equal? Are they equivalent? So the first thing you want to do is write a proportion, making them equal. Then use cross products. So you can see here in my green, 7 times 9, and that makes equal to 3 times 14. So write a proportion, and then in green, these are my cross products listed here. And now multiply. When I multiply, I get 63 on the left, 42 on the right, and they are not equal. So therefore, they are not equivalent. The ratios are not equivalent. Let's try another example, example B. So following the same steps, we need to write a proportion. We're gonna write 1 6 equals 5 over 30. Then we wanna use cross products. So again, when we use cross products, 6 times 5, and that make that equal to 1 times 30. And when we multiply, 30 equals 30, that is true. They are equal, so therefore, yes, they are equivalent. In summary, write a proportion with your two ratios. If the cross products are not equal, the ratios are not equivalent. If you write your proportion and use cross products and the cross products are equal, then the two ratios are equivalent. In other words, 1 out of 6 is the same thing as 5 out of 30. And we know this because we can reduce or simplify 5 over 30 and get 1 over 6. Let's solve a proportion in this next part of our notes. Here's our first example, example C. 1 over x equals 2 over 14. We're going to use cross products. So again, Multiplying in this direction, x times 2, we write 2x because the coefficient gets written before the variable, and 1 times 14 is 14. Now just solve your equation. x is multiplied by 2, so we would divide by 2, and solve, we get x equals 7. In other words, 1 over 7 is the same as 2 over 14. Here is example D. 2 thirds equals x over x plus 4. Here are my two ratios set equal to each other. That makes it a proportion. This is more of the algebra level of a proportion to solve. We're going to use cross products. Now be careful because when you multiply, please remember to use parentheses. 3 times x is 3x. However, this is 2 times this whole whole entire sum of x and 4. You need to remember to use parentheses because then you have to distribute. Now we can solve this equation, getting the variable on one side by eliminating the 2x, and we get x equals 8. And if we substitute back into our proportion, if x equals 8, this would be 8 over 8 plus 4 or in other words, 8 over 12. And we know that 2 thirds is the same as 8 over 12 because we can simplify by a factor of 4 and get 2 thirds. Now at this point, please turn to the left-hand side page 
page 44 and complete this classwork. Pause the video here and complete the work on your own. So you should have paused the video. If you did not, you still have time. Pause right now. Get all of your answers first. And this is the answer set that you should have. Of course, it should be written x equals 6, x equals 3, and x equals 11.